Hello, it was a quick recap of some work we did with finding percentage growth. On a question like this one with population of rats starting at 10 and a month later we had 15, you can use common sense to figure out the growth rate here because we increased our rats from 10 rats to 15 rats, which means we had 5 additional rats, which means we took half of 10 and added it to 10 to get 15. That shows a 50% growth rate. But later on we're going to get some exercises that will be slightly more interesting than this one and so we should use our understanding of exponential growth equations to help us figure out how to answer any questions related to rate of growth and growth factor. Taking the given information here I learned that at time zero which is the zero month according to the paragraph there were 10 rats and then one month later there were 15 rats. If I take this information and apply it to my equation I first learned that r of zero equals 10 which means my A value has to be 10, which means basically um, I can use that in my format. So we have now one year, one month later, we have 10 rats times B, which I don't know, to the 1 power. That's where time goes, and that's equal to 15. So using algebra now, we can solve for the B value and get 1.5. That means there's a 50% monthly growth rate is the number of rats will increase by 50% every month. And that gives us an equation that we can work with. Now, um, again, to keep track of between this growth rate and growth factor, we have 50% extra rats plus the 100% rats that were there the month before. So, um, to figure out how many rats there would be in July, we have to ascertain that July is representing t equals 6, given that January starts at 0, and we substitute that into the equation and we get about 113, 114 rats by July. That means we started with 10 rats and at 50% growth by July we had over 100 more rats, which is insane. Sounds like a problem. Now, this problem seems vastly different because we're talking about apes three years ago versus apes now rather than this year and next year or this month and next month. But the format is the same if we utilize exponential growth. So I know my exponential growth curve, and I know the standard format for exponential growth, and I know that a sub zero or a, a of zero equals 19, which tells me my little a value is 19, and I also know that when x is negative 3, y is 10. So I put 19, b to the negative 3 equals 10. Um, I'm going to make that into a positive exponent number by dividing by b. So 1 divided by b cubed is the same as b to the negative 3. And then I'm going to multiply both sides by b cubed, it's like fraction busting, divide both sides by 10, and then I take the cube root of both sides, and that gives me my b value, 1.2386. That means that there is a 23.9% annual growth rate in the ape population. That's a very healthy growth in apes. And just to make sure that that's right, I do two different things. I could either put the uh, equation, the left-hand side and the right-hand side, into a graphing utility and find the intersection. Or I could also use a calculator to um, evaluate A of negative 3 to make sure it's around 10 apes. That means I have the right number here. So that is a quick little recap of some stuff that we did. Use it or lose it.